Welcome to Makosi Network. Welcome to the channel. Today we have some interesting, interesting news. We're going to be playing Cape Town City. It's going to be one of the big games. We know oftentimes Cape Town City does beat Kaiser Chiefs, but it is always a good feeling beating K um, Cape Town City either at FNB or at Cape Town Stadium because you know Cape Town. Um, City always makes their money when they play Chiefs. So they always take us to the Cape Town Stadium, that beautiful stadium. So it's always a good football like um, experience. But in that, Chiefs is, has never dominated Cape Town City, if we have to be honest. But today we're going to be chatting about the match in itself and the fact that Samkelo Zwane may have his, his chance to play for Kaiser Chiefs as Matt and Castillo are suspended. But before we get into that, please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who supports the channel. We're not making the best numbers these days, but you know what? For those who are loyal and who are still sticking to the channel, who are enjoying it, thank you. And I'm really hoping that the channel continues to grow, you know. But anyway, let's get to it. So I read some articles and I realized that I didn't actually realize that Martin Castillo actually have cons have received four yellow cards each, so they won't be able to play for Cape Town City. So what does that mean? That means that we definitely won't have Castillo and we definitely won't have Mart, which could actually be the blessing in disguise the Chiefs needs. One thing we can guarantee out of all of this is that Mtetwa is likely to start the game. So that is the one player who we can guarantee will start. But now the interesting thing is that who will, Mte who will start alongside Mtetwa? So must I start with the negative? Do you want the negative story? Do you want me to start with the negative? I will start with the negative. Okay. The negative is that in the friendly where we were playing Amatax, for whatever reason, Kevin Johnson started playing Sitebe in the Amatax game. What does that mean for Kaiser Chiefs against Cape Town City? It means that possibly Kevin Johnson is gearing up to add um, Tetra and Sitebe in the starting lineup for Keza Chiefs. That is what is very, very possible because no one has been hearing about Sitebe, but all of a sudden Sitebe played against Amatax and he was a apparently a, a prominent feature in that and we saw pictures obviously of him Tetua playing. So in saying that, it makes me think that um, there's a chance that Samkelo Zwane may not play. But it also depends on how well Sitebe actually did in that game against um in that game against uh, Amatax. So that is the big ticket item there. So what would I prefer to see? Look, I I think a lot of you understand where my standing point on Sitebe and what I believe of that. So Sitebe's contract is ending now in June, and Chiefs shows no signs of renewing it. The guy has not played. I don't even think one game this season, and it's not that Anzeki or or Kevin Johnson don't want to play him. It seems like there's another reason for why uh, Sitebe is not playing. And it doesn't really have to do with football, I think. It has to do with something with management, etc. Maybe one day Sitebe will tell us what happened. But in saying that, the reason why I bring this up is that I don't want Kaiser Chiefs to continue to play people who won't be there next season. It makes no sense to me to, for us to continue to play Gonzalez and for us to continue to play Siteb. We should build for next season. So in saying let's build for next season, I say Mtetwa, yes, I'm happy. Start Mtetwa, he's an enforcer. Then play Samkelo Zwane um, as a, uh, uh, one of our midfielders, um, as an eight. You know, play some Kelozwane and then play like a Mkosin Pilengobo, Keegan Dolly kind of player. Play those guys and let's have a more creative and more offensive uh, forward, even though some Kelozwane is more, is slightly more defensive. But as we know, he's more an offensive DM than he is a defensive DM, if that makes sense. So, in saying that, that is what I want to see. And I feel like. If they, there's no better time than this game, especially playing in the in the stadiums that we will be playing, playing in a stadium like Cape Town, um, the Cape Town Stadium, 
and play or like a, a stadium like that. I believe we're playing in Cape Town, so you'll forgive me if I'm wrong on that. So if we're playing on a stadium like that, it's an open ground, it's carpet football, etc. And that is where some Kelo Zane will shine because he will be able to spray passes. He will be able to do a lot of things. And a lot of you know what I think some Kelo Zane could be. I don't like comparing young players and old players. It's not often what I do because sometimes it puts too much pressure on a young player when you start comparing them to an old player. But... I always say if there's a player that Samkelo Zwane can easily model his game around, it's some it's uh Shompo Kekan. Shompo Kekan now we all know had a shot from range. Samkelo Zwane has the same thing. Shompo Kekan would often be a box to box. Uh Samkelo Zwane is a box to box. We've seen it in TTC. The only difference that is in Shompo Kekan and Samkelo Zwane is defensive. Samkelo is not a good defensive player. So that is the difference why he hasn't even been playing. Why Samkelo hasn't been playing is that he hasn't been giving a lot of effort defensively and he is too casual on the field. We have to be honest, Samkelo is very casual on the field. It feels like he's part of a hip-hop movie or a music video when he's on the field. I just think if you just watch how he dresses in games his pants are lowing uh, hanging low so when he runs he can't really run fast so it's that casualness that some girls want that is keeping some girls want from being in the in, for fighting from ending up on the bench or being in the starting lineup is the casualness if he fixes his casualness and ups his work rate i feel like there's no way people like Matt and Castillo can stand in front of that boy because he has talent. So that is what I feel on that. So I really pray that we get to see some Kelo Zwane in against Cape Town City. Not to say he's our best ever player, whatever the case may be, but we just want our as we just want Kevin Johnson and them just to give these boys a chance. Give them a chance. If the boy, boy flops against Cape Town City, it's grand. It's fine. Let him flop. But I don't like this idea of Kaiser Chiefs coaches and Kaiser Chiefs management making a player fail before the player even has a chance. I want the player to fail on the field, not this thing of failing in, in on the bench or in a match day squad. If you are that bad, can you please fail on the field? Can we all see you fail on the field if you that bad? But it can't be that a player fails without ever having played. We've seen the things of Yusuf Bunting. We've seen about Twala, the the striker who, who was part of Cheese and went now to Botswana. We've seen all these young players who didn't even get a chance. About Lito, Lito, all of these guys who failed not even on the bench in the match day squad. They didn't get a chance to be on the field. So, and about TBAD or Lisako, all of these guys did not play like, we wanted them to fail on the field. So that's what I wanted to say. Even though Lisako did play for Gavin Hunt and actually did pretty well in my books. He was actually not bad. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm a Kosovo life.